Hey guys, Chris Chamberlain here and we are back in the lab today for another workout. Today's focus is going to be pulling for our upper body. We're going to be using three different pieces of equipment today. We're going to need a low pull up bar or if you have a high pull up bar, we can go ahead and put a box up to it. We just want to make sure that we can have ground contact with our feet. We're going to be using a pair of dumbbells as well and then we're going to be utilizing that RMT club. Let's go ahead and get into this workout. All right guys, we're gonna get into our first block here. This is a rotational movement training block. That means we're gonna be focusing on getting from one side of the core to the other. We got three different exercises we're gonna go through for three to five sets of about eight to 12 reps each. We're gonna be using uh, a pull-up bar uh, for some alternating RMT pull-ups. We're gonna be doing some alternating bent over rows, and then we're gonna take this club and we're gonna do some underhand shifting uh, swings. All right, so we're gonna start things out on this pull-up bar with this RMT pull-up. The goal here, again, we want this low pull-up bar so that we can keep our feet on the ground. I want you to have as much control over this as possible so that you can really focus and hone in on trying to get into this side bend on each side. So I'm gonna sort of take this mixed grip on a bar like this. Uh, if you've done this on a rack like so, like I'm doing, I'm always gonna make sure that that bar is up against the rack uh, just for safety purposes. I'm gonna drop down to a full bed hang. So that bar about chest height to shoulder height should allow that for most of us, depending on your arm length. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pull up to one side of the bar. So I'm gonna pull up to my, uh, my left side here where I'm pulling my left ear up to the bar and I'm trying to pull my right elbow down into my right back pocket there. Okay, I'm gonna drop back down after I feel that side bend and then I'm gonna alternate to the other side. So now I'm pulling up to the left side and I'm pulling that left elbow down to that back pocket. Right. So the big key things to focus on here is getting that full uh, dead hang at the bottom, using the leg as much as you need to to help assist as I pull this right knee up to get this elbow all the way down to that pocket. And you'll see my right shoulder is really reaching or striving to get to my right hip. And the hip is trying to get to the right shoulder. I like a nice little uh, brief pause as you get up there, all right? So I'm just gonna do a couple reps, full speed for you. Boom. All right, so RMT pull up. Again, we'll do that for that about eight to 12 reps total. We'll move over here to our dumbbells. We're gonna get a, a wide stance with the dumbbell. So the legs are gonna be fairly wide. I'm gonna point the toes in slightly. That gets the heels nice and wide for me. We're gonna grab the dumbbells and when I do this, I wanna start at the bottom where my thumbs are actually gonna be aimed backwards. So I'm there, that means pinkies are forward. I'm at the bottom. As I go to row up, I'm gonna pivot and commit all of my weight to one leg. So my right leg, I come back to the center with the thumbs back, pinkies forward, and then I'm gonna pivot all the weight shifts over to the left. So this is again, all about feeling that side bend on my right, feeling that full weight transfer on my right, Side bend on my left, feeling that full weight transfer on my left, all right? Couple reps, full speed. All right, cool. So that's our RMT bench of row. Again, about eight to 12 reps total. We're then gonna pick up uh, our RMT club. We're gonna get some fluid uh, transitions through these figure eights. And we're gonna be using that shifting weight within the club to really create this abrupt moment within an underhand figure eight. So we wanna choke up on the club. You'll see my index finger is right up uh, at the club head. I like to sort of like connect the club handle to my arm when I do this. I'm gonna take a similar stance that I just had with that dumbbell where the heels are gonna be out, the toes are in slightly. I'm gonna shift all of my weight off to one side here to the right side, grab the top of the handle, we're gonna start tracing some underhand figure eights with the club. After about two or three, we're gonna create a shift at about chest height, bring it back to this position I'm at here, and then we'll go back into some figure eights. And every time we create a shift, that's gonna count as a rep for us. So here we go. Underhand figure eight, nice and fluid. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a shift. I'm gonna feel that shift, it's gonna return me, and then I'm right back onto my underhand figure eight. I try to coordinate the other side. It's a shift, shift, back in it. Give you one more, shift, shift, back in it. All right, again, it's just uh, practicing that idea of shifting from one side bend to the other, feeling nice weight transfers uh, and creating those really special moments with that shifting weight within it. So uh, great job with this. Again, we got uh, about three to five sets of this for about eight to 12 reps each. 
Got our alternating pull up, our alternating row, and then our underhand figure eight shifts. All right guys, we just finished our rotational movement training. We we're moving from side to side. Now we're gonna get into some coiling core training. We're gonna be focusing on locking into one side bend, maintaining that the whole time. So that's gonna be this constant cue we're gonna go over. Uh, and we're gonna perform two different moves. We're gonna be using one of our dumbbells and then we're gonna be using that RMT club as well. So first up with this RMT club, I sort of call this this like slasher to a uh, uh, fluid sort of deceleration swing here, right? So key here is I'm gonna be holding the club with sort of like this underhand grip where the club head's actually gonna come out on my pinky side of my hand. The other hand's gonna grab it up top like that. It's gonna be very much uh, looking like I sort of have like a sword sheathed off to my right uh, hip here. What I'm gonna do is I take this split stance like so. I'm gonna take a step forward, slow-mo here. I'm gonna create a moment. I'm gonna create that shift with the club, sort of wherever it hits here. It's usually at about a chest height. That's gonna rebound or recoil me back to this hip or that sort of sheathed in position there. As I'm coming down, I'm gonna switch my grip fluidly. So the top or the bottom hand here, it's just gonna switch. So now uh, the club head is on thumb side of the handle. And then I'm gonna come up, same step, and I'm gonna get a fluid deceleration swing where the club head is gonna hit the back of the shoulder. I come back down, that hand nice and easily sort of rotates and shifts back uh, to that pinky side, and then it's shift, and then fluid. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a couple reps here. All right, so. Uh, this is a coiled movement, so this is a two-sided exercise. We'll just make sure that we hit that other side with that, and we're doing that for that uh, eight to 12 reps, three to five sets. So we set our club down. We're gonna go ahead and grab one of our dumbbells for this. We're gonna do something we refer to as the Royal Curl. So this is gonna sort of have that same sort of stepping mechanism to it uh, that we just did with the RMT club. We're gonna take sort of that same split stance. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock up for this sort of like backside curl where I'm actually gonna keep the palm facing downward. I'm gonna try to reach my pinky up to the ceiling. So it's pinky up to the ceiling. I'm trying to depress my right shoulder as hard as I can. And then what's gonna happen is it comes down. I'm gonna step forward, add a little pivot with the right foot. And now I'm pulling that pinky up to the ceiling again for that like more traditional style curl where I'm still locked into that side bend. So slow-mo here, it's a step back, pinky up, palm down, step forward, pivot, pinky up, palm up. Step back, pinky, palm, palm down, step forward, pinky up, palm up. Okay, I'll give you a couple reps, full speed. All right, so again, that's that royal curl, and that is really meant to keep you just in that side bend and still get that nice bicep pump that we all want. So, Two exercises, got that slasher pivot to fluid swing, and then that royal curl. We'll do that for three to five sets of eight to 12 reps each side. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap things up today in this bilateral environment. We're gonna be playing around with some isometric holds, uh, utilizing that low pull-up bar. We're gonna start things up with like a, like a high chin-up hold with the palms facing in. Then we're gonna like wrap that up, come to the bottom to a full dead hang uh, with the palms forward. And I'm really, again, gonna emphasize that we utilize a low bar like this or that box uh, so that you're working with your feet and you can really tap into the intention I'm trying to get you to feel uh, within your core and not so focused on the intensity of just the workload of it. So uh, we're going to be doing about one to three sets of these holds for about 30 seconds. You can adjust that as needed to make sure that you're feeling uh, the postural cues I'm talking about. So we're going to start things out. I'm going to do sort of this chin up grip where the palms are going to be facing in. I'm going to be trying to tap into the obliques or sort of the front side of the core here as we get into this hold. And I'm gonna kinda just stay up on my tippy toes and sort of flip my heels out. I'm gonna lock myself into the bar here. Okay, you can actually make contact with the chest if you're comfortable, it's okay if it can be off a little, but you do wanna try to make contact. And I'm trying to put all of the load uh, into my arms. I'm trying to keep my shoulders nice and low. I'm trying to feel my core uh, really engaged here. Okay, so you do wanna see that pelvis, pelvis tucked and we want to see those uh, palms supinated in, all right? Okay, we'd hold that again about 30 seconds, and then I want you to immediately transition. So we're gonna take the palms away from us now, so the thumbs are facing each other. We're gonna to get to a full dead hang. Again, feet are still on the ground, so we have a lot of control here. 
right? I'm still trying to live on that front side of the core, so I'm feeling like the abs, the obliques a little bit, the heels are still flared out, and the toes are pointed towards the center. If this is pretty cozy for you, I do want you to start thinking about challenging it. You can place one foot out, and you are gonna think about flipping that heel out as you extend the leg out. And this would allow you to alternate sides. You could do about 10 to 15 seconds. So I'm gonna show both real quick uh, where you see it in succession where I'm making the transition. So we'll hold for about five to 10 seconds here. All right, and after my hold, we drop down and we'll hold the bottom position. All right, cool. So uh, again, trying not to come off the bar, moving between the two seconds each side. All right, guys, that was another great workout here in the lab today with our upper body pulling focus. We got a great bicep pump, got our lats going. If you uh, crush the workout, great job. Just ramp up the sets and reps and in intensity. If it was challenging for you, bump everything down. Make sure you're still driving all the movement from your core and you're hitting all those postural cues that we talked about. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. Hit the like button for us and please follow us and check us out on Instagram and Facebook. We'll see you next time in the lab. <laughs>